Yeah, hi there. And uh, these comments are for, I'm just going to call you by your nickname, Anno. And you just sent me an email, actually, uh, about four or five days ago, and I'm just getting to your message right now. I apologize, but it says, hello, you said you work at California State University, San Bernardino. And uh, wait a minute, let me set up the video. I forgot to do this. So first of all, you're one of my students at my online TOEFL course called The Seven Step System to Pass a TOEFL IBT. And uh, you also have some questions about where I work, right? So it's true, I am a professor at California State University, San Bernardino. I've been teaching writing and linguistics classes for the English department since 1997. And I've also been teaching for the American Culture and Language Program under the auspices of the College of Extended Learning. I've been doing that for about the same period of time. So uh, your question is, you said, I would love to learn there at your university. The required TOEFL IBT score for undergraduate admissions is 61. I think I will reach that score. I think so too. I've been listening and reading some of your writing and speaking and you definitely, I mean, you, you should be able to score a lot higher than 61. You said, the only big problem is my finances. I did an exploration of the official CSUSB website, but still, it's very difficult for me to figure out what would be the total cost of attendance for the first year. Is there any possibility to get a need-based grant or somehow waive my tuition? This is extremely hard for me. Uh, I doubt it. Right now in this economy, uh, California is suffering. The United States is suffering, and it's very difficult to find grants right now. But to answer your first question, uh, for your first year of study, you're probably looking between sixteen and twenty thousand dollars U.S. Uh, American dollars. So that's approximately about how much you will need. That will cover the cost of your tuition, uh, your room and board, including your food, and also maybe your book. So for you to go to this school to get your visa, you'll have to prove that you have that money in a bank account somewhere. They will make you prove that. So I don't know. Is there any possibility to get a need-based grant or waive the tuition? I'm going to say probably not. However, I am not an admissions expert. Uh, I am a TOEFL teacher. I'm, an, I'm a composition and linguistics teacher, so this is not really my... Um, you can't really ask me this question because this is not my area of expertise. So the next step for you, I think, is to get on the phone... And I think Cal State, here's a number, write this down. It's uh, 1, area code 909 537 So again, the number is 1, area code 909-537-5000. So once you call the number you'll hear some recordings and you want to ask for the admissions department admissions and then they will get you to somebody with financial aid or they can start answering some of these questions that you have so that's probably the best advice I can give you right now is to call California State University San Bernardino directly and give them your information and let them know more about you and they can also answer the question about how much it will cost for your attendance for the first year. I'm probably pretty close with my number of 20000 So uh, anyway, uh, good to hear from you. Keep up the good work. I've enjoyed having you as a student. And I'm sure you will be very excited when you pass and reach your TOEFL goal and don't have to worry about that anymore.